To play tag, you'll need to create a number of action tiles located here. So they start from divide one to divide 10,000 and times one to times 10,000. You'll need to create them with permanent marker and you'll need the billionaire or bust board. And on that, you'll need to create the two people who are playing or how many people playing, you need to write zeros in each of the positions here. So some of them will look pretty awkward, but um, trust me, these are zeros. And once you've done that, you can put on top the think square overlay, which I'll grab now. And then you'll also need a bead for each player and numbers, which we'll just put on here now. So green goes down here. So these three numbers can be random. It doesn't matter what they are. As long as the decimal place is placed after the first number and both opponent opponents um, start on the same number. In this game, green is running away from red. So they get to choose the first action. So they might look at all of these and think, dividing by a thousand gets me the furthest away from the chaser. So they take that action and then divide by a thousand, which is moving the decimal place three spaces in this direction. You can only move it one, and the other two you'd need to move the numbers to do. So one, and then move the six, two, three, and then put your number back out. So now, this player is on point zero zero six eight three. Um, the closest or best red team can do is divide by 10, which is just moving their decimal place back to there. Um, so they'd need to divide by another 100 to, to get to the same space as this player. So they took the divide by 10 action, and now these actions get turned face down and put at the bottom of the pack. Uh, two more actions are drawn, and then round two begins. This time, the green player might see times by 10,000 and think, you beauty, that'll, that'll work well for me. So they times by 10,000, which means 10, 100. So we've times by 100 to get the number back to here. And now that's as far as they can go, so we need to do the rest with this. So times by 1,000, times by 10,000. So they're now at 68.3. If they did that, the red player would see that they just need to take the times by 100 action, one, two, moves it two spaces, and they're on the same number. So green has been caught here, which means they swap roles, and now green becomes the chaser, and red becomes the runner. But if this game continued on, let's imagine that it went out to here, green had a really big number, red was there, and they still couldn't catch green because they just kept getting away. So now green's on 683,000 and red is on 6,830. So they're still a little ways off. Two new actions would get drawn. That K's for another game, so I'll just put that aside for a minute. Um, so now, because green's been running away for so long, red gets to choose two actions, not just one, on their next turn. So if green decided to take the times by one action just to stay there because they know there's no times by a hundred here for red to choose to get right where they are. Red might be able to combine two of these actions to do times a hundred without actually choosing that action. So for example, if they were able to times by a thousand, one, two, three, and then divide by 10, they would get to a hundred, but there is no divide by 10 there. They might be able to times by 10 and then times by another 10 but that action would be gone so they can't do it but it gives red a lot more options to catch green if green is going too good so that happens after five rounds after the runner survived five action selections then players can choose two actions to catch them to make catching people easier as well there's other versions of this game like um, gang up tiggy where there's four players and the chaser, once they've caught someone, the person who's been caught joins the chasing team and then they chase the other players until everyone gets caught. Or you can play a game of two on two. So these two players would work together to catch these two. And then um, these two would see how long they could survive for, then swap over. These two try to catch these two and then um, see how long they survive for. And whoever survives the longest wins. But the aim for the runner is to escape for as long as possible and the aim for the chaser is to catch the runner as soon as possible.